I'm Rexy Lang. Welcome to Children's Church on Saturday, February 27th, 2021. I think we only have one day left of February, and then we're going to be in a new month of March. So what a wonderful day it was again today, and I hope you enjoyed the wonderful Saturday. It's always nice to have a weekend home, isn't it? It is so fun to be home. I love being home. And yesterday we talked about a young girl who died and Jesus raised her from the dead. And today there's two blind men that come to Jesus and they ask Jesus to heal them to make them see again. So that's our story today. Jesus is going to heal two blind men because Jesus is a great healer. And uh, guess what? He gave us that ability to heal others too and to be healed ourselves so we can be healed if we're sick too. Did you know that? Yes, that's what the Bible says. And what the Bible says is truth. We have to read the Bible and know what the Bible says so that we can be healed and we can be prosperous just like Jesus taught us that we could be. Because Jesus gave us the Bible, his word, so that we could read it and do what it says and get all the blessings that the Bible has for us. It wasn't just written many, many years ago for the people that was we're alive at that time that God's Word, the Bible, is written for us today to read and to obey and to listen and to be healed and to be blessed because God loves His people and He speaks to us through His Word. So let's say a prayer and sing some songs and get into our story about Jesus healing the blind. So, Father in heaven, we thank you. We thank you again for your healing touch over your people. We thank you, Father God that you have given us that same authority to heal others. We thank you, Father God, that healing you are healing people today in the name of Jesus. It is by your name, Father God, that we are healed. We thank you for your son, Jesus Christ. We thank you, Father God, for our brothers and sisters and parents and neighbors and friends and relatives. We thank you, Father God, that you love your people so very, very much. And we thank you, Father God, for songs to sing. We thank you for your word. In Jesus' name, amen. Today we're going to sing, As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. And that's another Bible verse. And we've sang this song a couple of different times. Do you remember where this Bible verse is from? As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. That is Joshua 24:15. And my youngest son's name is Joshua, so that's how I can remember that one a little easier. It's Joshua, a very popular name, Joshua 2415. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. And so that's a song, and a kind of an easy song to remember. And a Bible verse, Joshua 2415. So sing along with me. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord as for me and my house. We will serve the Lord. We will serve the Lord. And we'll sing that one again since it's such a, such a short, very, very short Bible verse, a very short song. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord as for me and my house. We will serve the Lord. We will serve the Lord. And have you decided to serve the Lord? To invite Jesus into your heart, into your house, into your family? And if you haven't already done that, and you say, Jesus, I for forgive me of my sins. I repent of my sins, and I don't want to sin no more. And although we often do, we sin all the time, don't we? And we don't sometimes. We don't mean to, but we are born sinners but God forgives us when we ask for forgiveness and repent of our sins and invite Jesus into our hearts then Jesus will come and live with us forever and ever and ever as long as we want him there Jesus will be with us in our hearts forever and ever and ever so we can go to heaven to be forever with him so next song we'll sing is alive alive my Jesus is alive Jesus was born on this earth for us. He died for us 
to take away our sins. That's how our sins were taken away. That's how Jesus took away our sins, is he died for us. And he went to hell for three days. And then he rose again. He rose again, and he's alive forever and ever and ever, sitting at the right hand of God. He is sitting right with God, and guess what? He is also living and alive inside of us. So when Jesus is alive inside of us, we are alive, alive forevermore. <clears throat> alive, alive, my Jesus is alive, alive forevermore. Alive, 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 my Jesus is alive, my Jesus is alive. Sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah. My Jesus is alive, alive, alive. Sing hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. My Jesus is alive. My Jesus is alive. Alive, alive. My Jesus is alive. Alive, alive, alive. Alive forevermore. Alive, alive. My Jesus is alive. My Jesus is alive. Sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah. My Jesus is alive, alive, alive. Sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah. My Jesus is alive. My Jesus is alive. And Jesus is alive. Sing hallelujah, my Jesus is alive the last song we'll sing is if you're happy and you know it if you're happy and you know it shout amen hallelujah if you're happy and you know it our face will surely show it won't it if you're happy and you know it clap your hands if you're happy and you know it clap your hands if you're happy and you know it then your face will surely show it if you're happy and you know it clap your hands if you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, shout amen. Amen. If you're happy and you know it, shout amen. Amen. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout amen. Amen. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. Hooray. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. My puppy dog, did you see my puppy dog? She was right here trying to sing along with me, <laughs> holding on to my hand so I couldn't put both of my hands up. So she was happy and she knew it and she wanted to sing along with us in our song. That little puppy dog's name is Missy. And sometimes she likes to come in and join us when we're telling our stories and singing our songs. So let's get into our story today, Jesus and the Blind Man. And we're in the Bible treasure story, Jesus and the Blind Man. And there's the picture of the two blind men. One's over here and he's already healed. And look at, he threw his cane, or his uh, walking stick, that the blind men use a walking stick when they're walking so they can see. And there's Jesus over there with the second man healing them, healing their eyes. So two blind men, when Jesus was out preaching and teaching among the people, there were two blind men that were following him. And when Jesus got inside the building, the two men followed him inside the building and they said, Jesus! Jesus, we know that you can heal us. Heal our eyes, we're blind, we wanna see. And Jesus asked them, he said, do you believe that I can make you well? Do you believe that you can see again if I touched you? They said, yes, Jesus, we believe. So Jesus said, okay, your faith will make you well. So Jesus touched their eyes and they could see. Wouldn't that be so exciting if you were not able to see? It'd be dark, close your eyes. And there's darkness you can't see anything but when Jesus opened their eyes they could see everything the fields and the flowers and the grass the hills and the trees and the leaves and the Sun 
and the sky and all the people around them and the houses they were able to see when Jesus touched their eyes. How exciting! They started jumping and singing and thanking Jesus that they could see. How excited they were. What an exciting day that was for these two men and the faith that they had to come to Jesus. And it takes faith to come to Jesus. It takes faith to be healed. It takes faith to put your hands on someone else and say, in the name of Jesus, you are healed. Because Jesus is the great healer. So thank you, Jesus, for your healing touch. And thank you, Father, that you give us that same touch that you have on other people's. In the name of Jesus, we are healed. Dear God, please help me to have faith like the two blind men. Yes, we need faith. We believe that Jesus can do what he says he can do. So if there's anyone out there listening and you're not feeling well, you put your hand on yourself and say, in the name of Jesus, I am healed. I am healed because Jesus said we can be healed in Jesus' name. Well, let's read this story and see what it says. Jesus and the blind men. As Jesus left Jairus' house, two blind men shouted out, Jesus, be kind and help us. Do you believe that I make you better? Yes, Jesus asked them. Can I make you better? The blind man said, oh yes, yes you can, Jesus, they replied. Then because you believe in me, it will happen. Jesus says, if you believe, then you're going to be healed. Believe in me, said Jesus as he reached out and touched their eyes. At once, the men could see and look at he's singing and dancing and leaping with joy because he could see again. And the question is, what happened when the blind men believed in Jesus? When Jesus asked them, do you believe that I can make you better? What did they say? They said, yes, oh yes, Jesus, we know that you can make us better. And that's what God wants us to say. That's what Jesus wants us to say. If we go to Jesus and say, Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I want to be healed. Jesus gave us that authority to say, in the name of Jesus, I am healed. I am all well. Because that's what Jesus said. So take faith, that step of faith, and say, Jesus, make me well. In the name of Jesus, I take authority. And I am healed. In the name of Jesus. It's the name of Jesus that makes us healed. Not anything we can do by ourselves, but in the name of Jesus. He heals us. We are healed because of him. So thank you so much for listening. And again, the stories about Jesus healing people. He has many stories in the Bible about Jesus healing touch, that he heals people. He heals his people today even. And that is just such a wonderful, wonderful thing that Jesus does for us even today. So thank you so much for listening. Please share and subscribe. And if you know one who some if you know one, know someone who is sick, who is ill, then you can go and touch them and say, In the name of Jesus, you are healed, because God's word says so. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Please share with your brothers and sisters and neighbors and friends and relatives. God loves you. Jesus loves you. I love you. Have a wonderful rest of your day. We'll have another day of Children's Church tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching.